Okay. So, there are two types of backups. Okay. One is consistent backup and other one is inconsistent backups. Okay. So, what is a consistent backup? Okay. Let's, let's just say, right, the database, uh, okay, instead of giving an example, let me first explain the consistent backup. Consistent backup is backing up the database when there is no transaction happening or when there is nothing pending. It's basically equivalent to shutting down the database and backing up. Right? So when you shut down the database, redo log will be empty because all the transactions are applied and everything. So it's basically backing up SP file, control files and data files. Archived log files are not needed because when you restore these from these three, you know, you are going to get a consistent copy of the database. Okay. So that's consistent backup. And the major downside of that is the database has to be unavailable. when the backup happens and with you know all the these days databases are the backend of a lot of online activities which require 24 by 7 uh, every day uh, in a year the service to be available so bringing down the database for backup uh, is not a good idea generally these days unless you know, you, uh, you, 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 if that is okay with you. Okay. So, w again, what is consistent backup? You basically need to stop all the operations, bring down the database. It's equivalent to bringing down the database and backing up the database where the important components needed are SP file, control files, and data files. Archived log files are not needed. And then the backup would go to the backup location. Okay, so now let's talk about inconsistent backups. Okay, so I deleted whatever I drew on that. So now I'm going to talk about inconsistent backups. Okay, so this is commonly used in almost all the environment where the database would be running and yet we would take a backup in, in a way that we should be able to reconstruct from the backup if needed with consistency. Okay. So, how is that possible? Like, I'm taking an inconsistent backup. How am I going to get a consistent copy out of it? So, let me explain. So, in a, when the database is operation, Okay, so things are happening within the database, and uh, there would be transactions which are yet to be applied on the data files that are kept in redo log, and once as they get committed, they get they get written to archived uh, log files. Okay, I, I mean, uh, yeah, well, I'm sorry. Uh, when data gets committed, they uh, uh, get written to read log file and when uh, read log files switch to next read log file they get archived okay so database would be generating lots of archive log files okay so there will be lots of archive log files okay so now i'm doing a backup of this database okay so when i'm doing a backup the data files are open Okay, and each would be doing their own work, right? And uh, there will be data getting written and uh, modified, etc. Okay, so what is going to happen is it's going to copy the data files as it is, okay, and it's going to copy the archaeolog files which are generated, okay? So now something happens. I need to 
restore from the backup. Okay, so when I restore from the backup, okay, I restore the SP file, I restore the uh, control files, data files, and then I restore the RK log files. Now I need to open the database. I need to open the database to a point in time, right? Just before the crash happened, generally, right? So let's say if uh, you know a crash happened at like 11:35 a.m. Okay, I probably would want to go to some 11:15 a.m. Okay, so I open the data files, right, and I tell the recovery command just make it consistent as 11:15. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's going to use these archive log files, okay, where the transactions are stored, right, and compare that with the timestamp of these data files and replay the transactions. Okay, so so that these data files will become consistent as it was at 11.15 a.m. Okay, so for that archive log files are, ne are needed. Okay, so again let me explain. We are backing up a system where things are happening. So if things are constantly changing, you need to keep a note of what's changing and this archive log file section acts for that purpose which is it keeps note of what are being changed right and those things would be played back so that the data file can be brought to a point in time or can be brought to a consistent mode okay so that's how backup recovery work okay and uh, there is one more thing which i forgot to include which is logical backup which is basically right taking a backup of just the data inside right you cannot use a logical backup to reconstruct an entire database when i say reconstruct i mean restore okay but logical backup could become uh, could come handy if you just want to back up one particular schema, right? One schema and copy that to another schema. Okay. So uh, in the previous versions, Oracle used to call this as export import. Now it's being called as uh, data pump. What am I writing? Okay, so that's the concept of uh, backup and recovery. Uh, 